What's going on everyone? I've had a bunch of you guys send me this video about this garage fire and for those of you that haven't seen it, I'm gonna warn you, it goes from zero to 100 like that. But the big general consensus right now is that this person used the wrong extinguisher. Let's find out if you're right. So it looks like they were draining fuel into that blue container and then at some point in time, static electricity, a cigarette, or God's will turned whatever was in that guy's hand into a flaming insurance claim. What I will say is super impressive is that that dude got that flaming object out of his palm as quickly as possible, probably because he doesn't like flaming objects in his palm, but the second he got it out of his hand, he ran over to that extinguisher, he knew exactly where it was. Situational awareness, man. So many people don't have that these days. I mean, the younger kid, not so much. He was running around, you know, hopefully trying to find another extinguisher or a way to put this fire out. Or he was looking for his car to get it out of there as quickly as possible because he didn't want to be there when the customer showed up. So a lot of you are saying this is where he's using the wrong fire extinguisher. Not true. CO2 is exactly what we should be using for a Class B fuel or oil style fire. The problem is, this is about as dynamic as a fire as you could possibly get. If you pay attention, he runs up and sprays the top of the fire, the bottom of the fire, the top of the fire, which is not good because CO2 canisters only have somewhere between 10 to 30 seconds of CO2 inside of them. But he's doing that because the top of the fire is the fuel line. They were draining this fuel tank. So if you pay real close attention, the second he extinguishes the top of the fire, when he goes to hit the base where you should be spraying an extinguisher, a nice, hot, flaming Cheeto line of fiery crap is going right down to the bottom of that base of the fire and continuing this fire going. So what can he do in this situation? Well, he can either use multiple extinguishers. Yes, he can use ABC style or dry chem. That would work perfectly in this situation. But he needs to be able to extinguish two sections of fire. Insane. So he can either use multiple extinguishers or a fire blanket to help put out the lower portion of the base of the fire and then any extinguisher to try to put out the top portion of it and then hopefully be able to plug the fuel source that is feeding this ridiculous fire. And there's two things that are certain in this exact moment. This dude did the greatest job that he could possibly do in this crap show of a situation and whatever repair that person was getting done on that car is 100% free. Try to catch me howling at the moon.